Hello, welcome to Energy Today. I'm Joyce Lim, Ella Keche Ada. Energy Today is an in-depth program focused on the Nigerian energy sector, analyzing its policies and their implication for the nation and its citizens. The program explores key issues such as energy production, regulation, and the transition towards sustainable energy sources, as well as issues that affect you. We have a lineup of issues to take up today, but first, let's bring you some energy news. President Bola Tinubu has inaugurated 30 hybrid compressed natural gas powered buses, marking a significant step towards sustainable transportation in Nigeria. These buses, capable of transporting 3,000 passengers daily, were locally manufactured by Innocent Motors and donated by the Depot and Petroleum Products Marketers Association of Nigeria, DAPMAN, in collaboration with the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited Foundation. During the inauguration, President Tinubu emphasized that commercial vehicles account for about 80% of the country's petroleum demand. He highlighted the success stories of several nations that have transitioned to CNG for their transportation needs, already seeing substantial benefits. The president also praised Innocent Motors, the manufacturer of the buses, for their dedication to this CNG initiative under his administration. It is a great inspiration for me to receive these buses on behalf of the government by making a significant innovation to the transportation system. Utilizing natural gas to power our transportation in industry is the next way to go. For many countries, especially Nigeria, with our own gas, it will work harder be productive and innovative. It is an economic necessity that you should embrace. I noted the recent yearning of many ordinary Nigerians on transportation. I thank Hinduism Motors and others who have been committed to change this narrative in this country. If we can enhance our energy competitiveness and bring about transformative changes like this, we would definitely, definitely be able to achieve the prosperity that we are working hard to accomplish for our people. These buses along with the CNG and being convertible is very encouraging and promising to enhance our transportation system. Countries like India, have mandated CNG for all commercial vehicles since 2004. 
and the Nigeria commercial vehicles make up about 80% of our petrol demand, causing us trillions of Naira each month. The solution is here. We have it. We will work on it. We promise you, definitely, things will get better. A prosperity will be achieved. Speaking at the event, Dame Winifred Apani, chairperson of DAPMAN, reiterated the association's support for the government's effort to improve the nation's transportation system. She stated that this move would significantly reduce transportation costs, benefiting the entire nation. To finally present this uh, batch of buses that uh, the Depot and Petroleum Product Marketers Association have pledged to present to the government in furtherance of um, the determination of this government to solve the energy crisis in Nigeria. We are very happy today to present these 20 buses and we're very proud to say that these buses have been designed, manufactured and delivered by Innocent, a Nigerian company in Inewi. These are hybrid buses that will run on CNG. Each of these buses are capable of uh, transporting 100 people and um, they also have alternative um, use of diesel if for any reason there's um, where we hope not that there'll be shortage of CNG. But they're hybrid buses and we're very, very happy today that um, we're able to present this and uh, we'll continue to assure this government of our full support as marketers who will continue to go the extra mile to ease the problems of um, all of us, not just um, the downtrodden, but everybody. We believe that these buses will be put to use, especially since we know that more donations are coming. And uh, we thank the president for this opportunity. And uh, I'd like to state that as part of our delivery, we have uh, made provision that each of these buses will have two drivers and we're going to have them trained at the facility where the buses uh, have been manufactured. So here we request that whoever gets the buses in the end, please can they contact Bachma so that we can arrange those training because we think it's very, very important that these buses are properly handled for durability and that they can go a long way. And uh, we're very, very sure that this will contribute in bringing down transportation costs. And we know that if transportation costs calm down, food and so many things will follow since transportation seems to be one of the little issues or the big issues we have in Nigeria. So on behalf of um, Dapman, we're very, very happy to present this set of buses to the federal government of Nigeria. The managing director of NNPC Limited Foundation, Emanuela Arukwe, shed more light on the approach towards the project and their plans to do much more to positively impact the lives of Nigerians. Uh, for us at the foundation, what prompted this an NNPC, um, it's an NNPC initiative, but also the foundation, we are really um, passionate and we are really committed on our areas of focus, which is also access to energy and also the environment. And as you know, these buses are CNG buses, they are clean energy buses. Aside from that, also access to energy. It's also one of the key areas we are focused on. So it, it aligns with our vision and our objective in doing that. So we're excited that we are part of what NMPCs drive towards uh, making sure that people have um, access to energy especially through the um, dual fuel, which is quite, as I said before, it's quite environmentally friendly. It's very significant because we know, just to fill it, just for example, filling those buses, STEM buses, very little money. So we know that it's going to be very significant because CNG, apart from being cleaner, is much, much cheaper. And so, because it's cheaper to fuel the vehicles, the price is going to be way, way down. So for the public, this is the way to go. Because once they can pay the um, transport fare, people move around a lot, and these are very big buses that can, uh, that can take up to 100 people. Um, so it's quite significant that if we get them filled up with CNG, we have more CNG buses, the transport fare will be greatly reduced. 
and really will help uh, the economy in terms of people moving around, which is different from what we have with the PMS. So we intend to do more. This, I said this is our promise. Uh, I won't be able to say because it's really an NMPC initiative. Uh, we all have also some commitment, but apart from the foundation, we also have other um, companies that are also committed to the NMPC group. And now on Energy Today, our guest is the Executive Director Commercial of Gas Marketing Company Limited, NMPCL, Mr. Haruna Abdurrahman, a certified project management professional with experience in the NMPC Renewable Energy Division. As Nigerians grapple with the CNG initiatives, there are yet many questions bogging the minds of Nigerians. We started out by asking Mr. Abdurrahman, what is being done to ensure the CNG penetration happens quicker, as Nigerians need quick answers? Actually, when we say quick wins, it doesn't happen overnight, but there are still quick wins. For example, there are a lot that has already been done by the federal government of Nigeria, of which we are latching onto in terms of fiscal, in terms of incentives that are there to promote the CNG, and not just CNG, to diversify our energy sources. Now, specifically on your question, if we look at the quick wins, you will discover that it is already in the public domain that NMPC has strategic partnership with some entities, and it is not exclusive. We are going to have more strategic partnership because this is for Nigeria and Nigerians. And NGML is one of the entities that is actually going to anchor this uh, initiative. One. We are looking at five A's, that is availability of the energy in terms of gas that we are talking about, accessibility, acceptability, affordability, and the last A, which is assurance. The quick wins specifically are this, what we have talked about in respect of the SDG 7, that's Sustainable Development Goal 7 of the United Nations, which specifically is talking about clean and affordable energy. NMPC, both NGML, that is NMPC Gas Marketing Limited, and sister companies, NMPC Retail, have recently commissioned 12 in total CNG stations, and one was earlier commissioned, making the total 13. But that is not the end of the story. It is just the beginning. Because as per NGML, we have the plan to actually go for 32 daughter stations. When we say daughter station, that is where you have the last mile to actually dispense to the end user. And three mother stations, whereby you will actually compress the gas to meet the requirements of the uh, what we call CNG. That requirement is basically to have the pressure between 200 and 250 bars. And this is what we have on ground as quick wins. And as we are talking now, there are other stakeholders that we are also engaging with, and it's not yet time for us to actually name the stakeholders, but the ultimate aim is to reach every nook and cranny of Nigeria with those ones. That's why I said it is not just about quick wins, it's about what we are going to do to make all Nigerians have access to clean, affordable energy. Not just CNG, not just auto CNG, but clean, affordable energy. Number one is that to be a partner, we don't just want anybody to come and say we want to partner and that is it. Do you have the capacity? Do you have the technical ability? Do you have what it takes to actually go into this business in terms of experience, in terms of financial capabilities? We have a lot of criteria, items that we look at. But in a nutshell, we are also going to have real Nigerian companies to partner with. As we are speaking, there are about more than 10 companies that have already shown interest, not just on what everybody knows, which is the filling station or the daughter station, but even those that have fleet 
of vehicles which are not yet known to a lot of uh, a lot of uh, the ordinary uh, Nigerian but it is known to us and we are already working on that assiduously to make sure that it has positive impact on haulage of goods not just on passenger vehicles but haulage of goods that will make goods cheaper in Nigeria in terms of transportation. There's more to come on energy today, but we will tell you all about it when we return. Welcome back to Energy Today. Now, getting the filling station is one thing, but first, your vehicle has to be converted. Accessibility to conversion kit is key. Where can you find them? How easy are they to find? And are they even affordable? Let's hear Mr. Abdurrahman. We as NMPC and specifically as NGMN, we are looking at enabling that conversion by providing some conversion kits, 2,000, 3,000, so that it will not be a burden on initial conversion cost on the customer. That will be factored into the costing of the CNG so that even the customer will not even know that there is any cost attached to the conversion case because it will be so done in a, in a manner that we are not just about profit. We are about what will create wealth for Nigerians, what will make energy affordable and accessible to Nigerians using that five A's as a guideline. But we are also aware, I'm sure you are aware, that the federal government of Nigeria is also planning on the conversion case. As at now, we already have some stations that even have some mini conversion uh, workshops that are already running with some of our partners for some years now. And in fact, we already have over 10,000 vehicles that have already been converted with those partners over the years. But you would begin to see some accelerated adoption of CNG as auto fuel if those conversion keys are now arriving in the quantum that will enable such accelerated conversion. And that was not all we asked Mr. Abdurrahman. We could not resist asking him about the availability of CNG stations. For instance, if you have a CNG vehicle in any part of the country, will you find a CNG filling station as convenient as you will find a petrol filling station? Currently, we are engaging a lot of stakeholders. The presidential initiative on CNG, we are engaging the gas aggregator company of Nigeria, and even the NMDPRA recently has just approved the categorization of mobility CNG to be able to benefit from the categorization pricing for the pipeline gas that the mother stations will be using. And that says a lot. Why all this is because we don't want a situation whereby at the end of the day it is just NMPC. No. We want it to be private sector driven so that all companies that have the wherewithal to be in this business are in this business because it takes all hands to be on deck to be able to make all Nigerians to have clean and affordable energy in terms of what we are talking about now, the auto CNG and also CNG for some stranded industries that ordinarily will not have been reached by the pipeline network. So the CNG will also reach them. So also we have what is called LCNG, that is liquefied CNG. You have the liquid LNG that will now be converted to CNG in order to gain more mileage and go far because CNG as per CNG alone has some limitations in terms of the radius it can cover between the mother station and the daughter station. But that is going to be overcome by LCNG to give more mileage. CNG is the end product that the vehicles will be using. 
and industries will be using. But NNPC, NGML, is going into further partnerships to actually have that further mileage to establish about three, starting with three, mini LNG plants that will have the LNG that can be converted into CNG. By LNG, you'll be able to transport about six to eight times more what the cascade CNG can actually transport. So that will give the more mileage so that you can reach the whole nation as time goes on. First of all, Nigeria, we can actually say that we are a country endowed more of gas than liquid hydrocarbon. When I say liquid hydrocarbon, what readily comes to mind is crude oil. So we can actually say that we have gas, which the proven reserve is about 209 trillion cubic feet. And we have further that can actually go up to 600 trillion cubic feet. But that particular plant feeding into AKK means that we are going to have more gas available, which is pipeline gas. And the pipeline gas is the feed gas that will be used for the mother station. The mother station compresses it to CNG. So in terms of what it will do for Nigeria, it is a lot. One, coming back to the five A's, availability of the gas. But the gas will not just be available, it will be accessible. It will not just be accessible, it will be affordable. It will be acceptable in terms of quality and in terms of assurance. That means it is not just there today and tomorrow it is not there. It is there and you can be reliably supplied with the gas. That is what that project is going to bring on board. And don't forget that we have about three power plants that are also along the AKK. And that is also going to benefit not just industries, power, industries, automotive. It is going to be affordable. The quality is going to be acceptable. It is going to be accessible. It is user friendly. It is safe and environmentally friendlier. In fact, gas, natural gas generally has been accepted worldwide by the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change that it is a global transition fuel that is going to be there even beyond other fossil fuels because it is cleaner and it is a fuel that can be used to mitigate against climate change uh, effects. That is why we are there as NGMO. There are some companies that don't have the capacity on the surface. We will be the one to now tell them this is what you need to do. If they even need to come together to be able to build that capacity, we will tell them as a consortium, come. If they don't have that capacity, we will also partner with them. And that is why we are there. The message is that CNG is here. Natural gas is here. We, as Nigerians, we owe it a duty to make sure that this particular initiative through the Presidential CNG Initiative Committee works, and it is already working. And that's it on Energy Today. I'm Joyce Lin, Ella Keche Ada. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.